first on five. The second big week of spring break is underway as thousands of students and their families head to Alabama's beaches to recharge and unwind. As News 5's Pat Peterson reports, even though the local weather may not cooperate, start, spring breakers say anything is better than snow and ice. They're visiting from Texas, North Mississippi, Kentucky, and Georgia. The only white stuff we're going to see here is the sand. Escaping what's been a brutally cold winter, a season packed with snow, ice, and freezing rain. We had eight inches of snow on the ground when we left, so great to see this sun. Thousands of spring breakers will spend the week in Gulf Shores and Orange Beach, a place where frozen precipitation is rare, particularly in mid-March. We want to get away from all the ice and snow that we've encountered in Dallas last few days. Mike Brown and his family are visiting from Dallas. We may see a movie or two, bowling, um, may go uh, all kinds of places. So yeah. You're definitely contributing to our local economy. Absolutely. The Browns' first adventure, checking out just how cold the Gulf is. We came to go in the water <laughs> with our clothes on. <laughs> Rain is in the forecast, but spring breakers we talked to say a few days of the wet stuff is much better than snow and ice. As long as there's not any snow, I can handle rain, just no snow. The Gulf might be a little chilly. What's it feel like? Cold. <laughs> Cold but fun? Yes. All right. Are you going to go do it again? Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> but not nearly as cold as what these vacationers have dealt with back home. Maybe not. <laughs> On the Baldwin County Beat, Pat Peterson, News 5. Spring break officially rolls through late April. The busiest week will likely be the week of April 6th. That's when schools here in Mobile County and Baldwin County are out. Be